Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're interested in the latest developments surrounding the Iraqi dinar and the transformative economic reforms taking place in Iraq, you're in the right place. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on important updates. Today, we're diving into some truly impressive developments that are reshaping Iraq's economic landscape. The country is making some significant decisions, and the implications of these changes could be monumental for its future. Let's unpack what's happening. So, why is this all so crucial? The ongoing reforms in Iraq are part of a broader strategy outlined in their white papers. These documents aren't just bureaucratic jargon they represent a comprehensive plan for banking and monetary reforms. The commitment to these reforms shows that Iraq is serious about addressing historical economic challenges. One of the most critical focuses of these reforms is the increase in the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar. This is vital not only for local citizens but also for foreign investors eyeing opportunities in Iraq. A stronger dinar means that everyday goods and services will become more affordable which can help stabilize the economy and improve the overall quality of life for the Iraqi people. When the purchasing power of the dinar increases, it doesn't just benefit consumers it also attracts investment. Investors are always on the lookout for markets where the currency is stable and appreciating. A strong dinar can encourage foreign capital to flow into Iraq, boosting job creation and economic growth. Now, let's dive deeper into the specifics regarding these reforms. The Iraqi government is actively working to eliminate corruption and improve transparency within its banking sector. This effort is essential for building trust among investors, both local and international. A transparent and reliable banking system encourages investment and economic participation, which are crucial for sustained growth. As Iraq continues to implement these reforms, we can expect to see a more vibrant economic landscape. Local businesses will gain confidence to invest, expand, and innovate. This growth can lead to the creation of new jobs, which is vital for a country aiming to provide ample opportunities for its citizens. Moreover, the connection between a stable economy and social stability cannot be overstated. When people feel secure in their economic situation, it fosters a sense of community and trust. This can significantly enhance the overall well-being of society. The financial resources generated through a stronger economy can be reinvested into community projects, infrastructure development, and public services. This creates a positive feedback loop enhancing the quality of life for everyone in Iraq and contributing to a more resilient society. It's also important to recognize that these reforms are part of a larger vision to modernize Iraq's financial system, ensuring that it can effectively compete in the global marketplace. By signaling to the world that it is serious about economic recovery and growth, Iraq is positioning itself as a viable player on the international stage. Let's also talk about the strategic implications of these reforms. The successful implementation of these measures could fundamentally change the way Iraq interacts with the global economy. It could open doors to new trade partnerships, increased investment opportunities, and enhanced cooperation with international financial institutions. As Iraq strengthens its economic framework, it will likely draw interest from countries looking to invest in its abundant resources. The potential for collaboration in sectors like agriculture, technology, and energy is immense, and Iraq could merge as a regional hub for commerce and trade. This transformative period is not without its challenges, of course. The government must navigate complex political and social dynamics while implementing these reforms. However, the commitment to change is evident, and the groundwork being laid today will set the stage for a more prosperous future. So, what are your thoughts on these developments? Are you optimistic about the future of the Iraqi dinar and the economic reforms being undertaken? I'd love to hear your opinions and insights in the comments below. If you found this video informative and engaging, please give it a thumbs up, 
share it with your friends, and subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and its economic journey. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.